Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to experiment with the demo custom oscillator waves, which is provided with the Log SDK. If we open the manifest.json file in an editor, we can see we have six user parameters available. The first three parameters, wave A, wave B, and subwave, allow us to select wave samples from the wave banks provided in the SDK. The submix parameter allows us to set the mix amount for the subwave, ranging from inaudible to dominant. We have a ring mix parameter, which is an implementation of ring modulation. And finally, we can control a bit crusher to produce distortion. If we now open the waves.cpp and waves.hpp files, we can see what the standard modes for the A and B selection knobs are. If we scroll down to the osc underscore param function in the waves.cpp file and examine the switch statement, we can see the parameters k underscore user underscore osc underscore param underscore shape and k underscore user underscore osc underscore param underscore shift shape at the bottom of the switch statement. These parameters represent the primary A and B knob functions, i.e. when the OSC button is active and not in user parameter mode. The A knob controls a shape parameter and the B knob a shift shape parameter. If we scroll up to the OSC underscore cycle function, we can see that the shape parameter of the A knob is being used to control the wave mix between waves A and B. Now if we move to the waves.hpp file and scroll down to the update pitch function, we can see that the shift shape parameter of the B knob controls a phase drift between all the waves. Now that we have an idea of what influence we can have over this custom oscillator, we can test it out. Thank you. 